The city of Youngstown has a population of roughly 67,000 people. Within that population, there are bound to be a multitude of ideas and dreams, but some may not have the means to access a way to bring those ideas to light and show them off to the world. Even if it may seem hard, they do not need to look any further. The Youngstown Business Incubator was ranked the number one high impact incubation program in North America by UBI Global in 2015. In 2018 alone, with 175 employees in portfolio companies, $1.3 million generated in revenue, and $2 million in capital raised, there are no signs of the Youngstown Business Incubator slowing down. I had the opportunity to speak with two entrepreneurs regarding both their company and how the Youngstown Business Incubator has helped them grow. I first spoke with Zach DiVincenzo, who is the Chief Operations Officer of Juggerbot 3D LLC. Um, Juggerbot 3D is a portfolio company of the Youngstown Business Incubator. Um, we were uh, created in 2014 with a goal to develop and design um, Industrial grade 3D printers capable of processing a wide range of performance grade thermoplastics. We occupy about 1,500 square feet of Tech Block Building 5, and uh, we reside on the first floor, which um, in the basement of this building uh, houses some of the most advanced pieces of equipment in uh, additive manufacturing. Um, America Makes, which is a national accelerator for additive manufacturing, and Youngstown Business Incubator, alongside Youngstown State University, came together to create this ecosystem. Uh, pretty good collaboration um, to advance the technology of, of an added manufacturing. And uh, so in the basement of Tech Block Building 5, we have um, direct metal laser sintering, which is metal 3D printing. We have um, nano jetting technology, which would be the X-Jet Karma 1400, which is doing ceramics, uh, zirconia ceramics is the material. And uh, we also have lab equipment, other post-processing and subtractive manufacturing uh, equipment that's used alongside added manufacturing. So this environment that was created by the YBI fosters innovation and technology in this industry. So it's, it's pretty impressive and we've kind of created this really nice ecosystem. Um, so it's pretty cool. I then spoke with Robinetta Clark, who is the Executive Director of Altered Lives Consultants, LLC. She is in the WE program, which aims to help women entrepreneurs. What I do here is it's called Altered Lives Recovery Services, and we do grief support system. We do grief support, anger management, in the process of getting um, certification for uh, addiction services. It's a good place to start, you know, to, to start a business. I haven't been in it long, you know, so I'm still, I'm still growing. I'm still, you know, waiting for some things to take place, and I'm still moving about, taking some you know, making some things happen. Someone told me about this place, and I can't even remember who it was, but they told me about this place, and then I met with uh, Carmela. And so when I met with Carmela, we went over some things. She showed me her paperwork. I told her I was trying to start a business, you know, and I needed some space. And so she introduced me to here at the WE program. And so here at the WE program, they help you um, get started in your business. And um, whatever you need, um, paperwork, you can make copies, you you know, you can utilize their, uh, some of their office uh, equipment. And, uh, which I think is good because a lot of times when you start a business, you don't have all those things, you know. So um, it was a blessing to be able to come here. These two examples are just a few of many businesses to come out of the Youngstown Business Incubator. Through this incubator, many more dreams can be brought to life thanks to the opportunities that YBI can provide.